Our witnesses have arrived. Are you ready to present the case? As a noble, you are our best representative. I've gone over everything a dozen times. Unless something goes horribly wrong, we'll get our man. At this rate, Queen Jen is guaranteed to notice you. If nothing else, I'll make sure your name reaches her ears. Minister Codicus is waiting. Signal him when you're ready. Good luck. And may Lyssa bless you with unparalleled eloquence. I'm a loyal servant of the crown, but if Zayman gets off... What are you doing here? I didn't know Sarah had all judicial matters. That could be highly identified to himself. Hear ye? The trial of Minister Julius Zayman is hereby called to order. Legate Minister Codicus presiding. Who stands for the prosecution? I do. Your Honor, we have evidence proving Minister Zayman conspired against the citizens of Divinity's Reach. He abused his authority to commit thievery, murder, and treason. We will present incriminating documents and sworn testimony from respected members of the community, including the accused's own sister. The prosecution seems to have prepared quite a compelling case. Minister Zayman, can you refute these dire accusations? Refute? Why bother? My Lord Codicus, in accordance with the most ancient tenets of Crichton Law, I invoke my right to trial by combat. This court accepts your invocation. By law and custom, you may choose a second to fight with you in the circle. Thank you, Legate Minister. I choose my retainer, Idol the Unlovable, as my second. The prosecution must also nominate a principal and a second, or forfeit the case. I will be the principal, Legate Minister. I'd like to request a short recess to select my second. Granted, when the prosecution is ready to continue, this court will reconvene and the trial by combat will begin. As a Seraph captain, I can't really jump around saying, pick me, pick me, but I can certainly think it. We're ready to begin, Legate Minister. I've chosen my second. An interesting choice. For the record, let it be known that this duel will continue until both members of one side surrender or are defeated. If Lord Zaman proves victorious, he is innocent. The case is thrown out and these charges against him may not be brought again. If you win, then Zaman is found guilty of this crime. I understand. When you're in position, the trial by combat shall proceed. Good luck to you all. May justice prevail. Declared, according to the dictates of Crichton Law, Minister Zaman is found guilty. Minister Codicus does not look happy. He doesn't like anything to infringe on the rights of ministers. Trial by combat took the judgment out of his hands. Did it? How do you think Zaman knew about the ancient law in the first place? He's no historian. You think Codicus advised Zaman about the clause? If Zaman won the battle, he'd be declared innocent. No more investigation. Now he's guilty, but he's also dead. No loose ends. Never underestimate Minister Codicus. 
At least we know the identity of Zayman's backer. Go and celebrate a well-earned victory. Anissa and I will be in touch with you. I was genuinely hoping for a conviction based on a preponderance of the evidence. Yeah, but this works too. Thank <laughs> you.